My vagina probiotic is stuck in my esophagus. Today on Montana Dana, I tidy up the van, enjoy a little nature therapy, set goals for my upcoming six week challenge, and get brunch with my Aunt Debbie. Like and subscribe for more travel and van life videos. Good morning, my beautiful friends. Still in Palm Springs. I parked last night on a random street, but drove to Starbucks this morning. I might as well show you the view. I'm gonna turn the light off. Just in case someone's standing out there, I don't want it to really like, frighten them. I don't know what I'm doing today, but I'm gonna edit and upload a vlog. It's nice to be in the Starbucks parking lot so I can run in and use the restroom. I just got a new hotspot device and I haven't uploaded a video using it yet, so I'm just gonna be in the Starbucks parking lot as a backup in case it doesn't work to limit any frustrations today. So yeah, editing party in the parking lot. I'm in my little blanket bagel, bundled up and cozy. Got my coffee and my water. I could get used to this. I really could. I fixed a couple odds and ends before I came to Palm Springs and it's making my life so much easier. When I get into drive mode, all I really have to do is take my ukulele off the wall and put pillows behind the guitars and make sure everything's latched. But if those things are in place, then it's actually pretty easy. I was dealing with the coat rack falling over every second, the piano shifting. So it's been so much better since I put all the L brackets in. Go figure. I also got my solar panels and a new phone and my hotspot device, thanks to you guys. I'm feeling a lot better about life. I can focus more on doing fun things because I'm not just in survival mode every second of every day. Feeling very grateful for this lifestyle. I mean, my apartment's right outside of Starbucks and right down the street from Trader Joe's, so I cannot complain. What's so nice to think about this. So if I have to wait for three hours for my video to upload, that's three hours I have to sit at Starbucks because I can't just leave my computer there. Now I can lock my computer in my rig, let my video upload, and I can go do fun stuff. I can go for a walk. I can go grocery. I have, there's so many, so many options, so many possibilities. It can be uploading while I'm driving. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work actually, but I can try. It might be a planet fitness and shower type of day. My lashes are going on day three or four and they're, they've got a little desert sand in them at this point. Yes, they do. I look very high maintenance, but I'm such a dirt bag. So I'm uploading my video. When I've uploaded from the Starbucks, that's right there. It says it's about like two and a half to three hours to upload. Check this out. One hour and two minutes. Holy shnikes, hallelujah and amen. I can upload from my rig, guys. Wow. Wow. My life just changed drastically. The only thing is, is my computer needs to be charging. So I have to have a significant amount of Jackery. So hopefully it's sunny today so we can charge that up. But I think I'm gonna tidy up and go for a walk. Love bombs going off, lighting fires. You got demands, but I won't be your supplier. Call a spade a spade. The Bogan Via is blooming. It is happy here in Palm Springs. Java walk. This is lovely. This is lovely. I could be sitting in Starbucks wasting three hours of my life, but now I get my 10,000 steps in, I get some vitamin D, and I just get to enjoy a lovely morning. Start the day with some gratitude. I love this little park. There are ducks everywhere. There's a little koi pond. Not to mention lots of palm trees. I've been through the ringer the last year, but it really has made me appreciate moments like this. I lived in LA and St. George for a while and was very, very spoiled by sunny weather year round. I know I'm one step closer to knowing where I need to live. I need heat, preferably of the dry kind. I've been toying with the idea of getting a dog just to have a companion and security and hiking buddy. However, I don't think you can bring them into national parks and I would definitely need a better build in wise you end up having to leave your animal in the car quite often just to go in and get groceries and whatnot yeah i shouldn't get a dog it would be nice for certain things i just i want a husband i don't want a dog i want a man a companion a man companion a manion can i get a manion in my life please drinking coffee body Smell something delicious. It smells like honeysuckle, but I think it's these white flowers down here. Does anybody 
Does anybody know what those are? Whatever it is. Ah, it smells like perfume. It smells like the candle section of Bath & Body Works. My nervous system is completely back to normal. It was rough there for a second. I'm not gonna show you guys like this fake, happy van life. I'm gonna show you the real stuff. I think it's important to practice gratitude every day. I think it's important to consciously try and live a positive and meaningful life. But you know, when you're in survival mode, it's at least when I am, it's very hard for me to get there. So sometimes, changing your situation is important to be able to get there. Sometimes you have to physically remove yourself from a bad situation to get to something better. And you guys have been so supportive and lovely and I appreciate it. Thank you for your support. I am the last few days, wow. It's like night and day, it really is. So much gratitude, so much gratitude for life right now. And gratitude to my past self who kind of stuck it out and kept going through the crap to get here. So sometimes that's what you gotta do. As much as I share the reality of van life, I'm gonna share the absolute beauty that van life allows me to create every day. I get to create my life every single day and there's hard days, hell yes. But the freedom I feel in this lifestyle makes it all worth it. My hip flexors are tight. I didn't realize how out of shape I was till I went on that palm tree hike. I'm starting a new fitness challenge. It's gonna be a quickie. It's gonna be six weeks. I'm gonna follow one of my old programs and I'm gonna do it along with you guys. A lot of you already have the program, so we're just gonna do it together. But today I am writing out four to six goals that I want to tackle every day that I know will drastically improve my life. If you wanna join, you don't have to copy my goals, come up with your own goals. They should be fairly easy to attain, but push you past your limits just a little bit. My first goal is to get in 10,000 steps every single day, whether that's hiking, going on my Java walk, whatever it is in the morning. We're gonna start this coming Monday. So write out your goals in the comments. Let me know what they are. Commit to them now. I'm gonna commit with you and we'll start a new challenge. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this new energy. I'm feeling like I have the energy to put into uh, doing a fitness challenge. I feel like by the end of that, I'll be fit enough to do a summer challenge, like film a new one, and then we can do that one together in the summer. But I just wanna do a little six week warm up, just like a little spring clean for the body. So if you guys wanna join me Monday, let's start tackling some goals on Monday. They should be goals that excite you. Like I enjoy doing the coffee walk, but sometimes I'm kind of lazy and I'm like, I'm not gonna do that this morning. But every time I do, it just helps me get into gratitude, helps lift my spirits. That's my goal number one. I'm such a goal driven person. For instance, right now, I kind of want to walk back to my trailer, but I just looked at my steps. I only have 1,300 so far. So I'm going to walk for like 15 minutes down the road, explore a little bit, and then walk back. And I'll be that much closer to my step goal. nice to come back to a clean rig still in the starbucks parking lot just cracked my doors speaking of goals i have two business goals i want to accomplish on a daily basis one is writing a song every single day and two is taking these videos and condensing them into a tiktok video so it is a lot of work it is a very big stretch goal for me but i've done it for two weeks now and i'm going to continue for another month and a half and then i'll reevaluate and see how it's going but i'm going to write edit and upload my song of the day right now just get it out of the way and then on to the next. It's breakfast time. It's almost noon. I do intermittent fasting. I have for years and I really quite enjoy it. I'm not hungry at all in the mornings, so I don't really have any dietary goals. I'm kind of in a rhythm and a routine right now, but I will show you guys some healthy meals. Can't wait to get a cooktop because I want to be able to cook meals again. But for now, I'm just throwing stuff together. I'm making some instant oats, but I added in some collagen peptides and some walnuts for healthy fats. I also take a hair skin and nails gummy and some probiotics. These are specifically vagina probiotics, apparently. I got them in the vagina aisle. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but yeah, making sure to take my vitamins, get my healthy foods in. I eat pretty much whole foods. The only thing that's not really whole foods that I eat is, well, the collagen. Well, supplements, obviously, but there's sugar in the oats. But pretty much I eat whole foods, except for sometimes I'll eat a dessert. Sometimes I'll be really craving something and I'll have it. But for the most part, it's like Chipotle bowls and salads and chicken, veg, and rice, that kind of thing. So pretty healthy and I like it. My body is fueled. I feel good. I, I have a lot of energy. So if I start eating a lot of sugar, I get really addicted to it and I can't stop eating it. So I try and stay away from sugars. I don't really like bread, so I don't care about bread that much, but I like a good rice bowl. So taking my vagina vitamins be 
one of my goals. No, no it shall not. So my goals so far are getting in 10,000 steps, completing a TikTok, and writing a song. The song is posted, it's up, it's ready to go. Your goals can be very simple. One of my most simple goals is to write down something I'm grateful for. It's easy to be grateful on days like today when everything's going swimmingly. I'm gonna make it a practice to write it out and feel it so goal number four write in my journal i do that every day anyways but there are a couple days that i skip and i always i don't know why my face is so hot i always um i always feel better when i do write in my journal so I'm going to do that now my vagina probiotic is stuck in my esophagus <laughs> this is the oats it looks pretty gross right now my jackery is dead and I don't want to put my Jackery panel out on my car. It's a pretty tight parking lot. I would, maybe I'll move over to the other parking lot where I have a little more room. I just don't really want to advertise, you know? Gonna have to do what I have to do because I need power. The thing that drained it was having my computer plugged in while uploading a video this morning. It only took an hour, but it did drain the battery. Maybe I go into Starbucks and charge while I'm here. Gotta do what you gotta do. I also have to pee, so let's do that. So the reason I'm in Palm Springs is I was supposed to meet my dad and my aunt Linda down here but there's a huge snowstorm rolling through so they're not gonna make it but I am gonna meet my other aunt and uncle for brunch this is my aunt Debbie we're gonna start a reality show I don't know if you saw that vlog but up the ante up the ante it's called up the ante it's gonna be a good one beautiful day Brunch was great. This place is really cute. If you guys are ever in La Quinta, California, it's called Beautiful Day. It's a really cute farm to table place. The food was so good. We basically licked the plates clean. We use local and seasonal ingredients. They have really fun drinks and really good coffee. I guess Joshua Tree is a brand of coffee and it was delicious. But I just parked so the sun is over there so I can put up my solar panel. Have some Jockery power. Not too shabby, Jockery. Not too shabby. Let there be light. I feel pretty safe here, but if I felt it all sketched out, I would wrap my chain around here and lock it. And then I can keep the door open, but also have it locked. Gonna have an edit afternoon and I'll see y'all in a little while. All right, I just finished writing in my journal. It's hilarious that I have a Cinderella journal. I went to Disneyland with my brother and his husband and this is the size journal that I love and it's so hard to find and I bought like five of them at Disneyland because when in Rome, you know, they have a little tassel thing. I love it. I just wish it didn't say Cinderella on it because I feel like I'm seven. But anyway, I think it's funny. I do like the embroidery though in the detail. If we could just get rid of that and that and that be the perfect journal. I want to make my own line of journals someday. I love them so much and they would come with the G2 pens. Yes, yes, let's add that to the vision board. I just, I love a gigantic journal. I write three pages in here. Well, two to three pages, but I did write out my goals today. The ones that we already talked about, 10,000 steps, a TikTok every day, an original song every day. You guys, one of my TikToks just made it to 50,000 views already and I almost have 3,000 followers, which is crazy. I've only been doing it for for two weeks. I'm gonna do this for six more weeks and then I'm gonna see how I'm feeling. I might instead do one produced song a week and put all that energy into like really producing up a song and putting it on iTunes and having it like having a music video. For some reason the daily is easier for me. It's harder for me to allocate time every day. I'll just end up doing it the night before. It's just my personality. I've always struggled with that. My fourth goal is to write in my journal. We talked about writing about gratitude and stuff like that. I'm in a parking lot. Thank you, thank you for putting away the carts, sir. My fifth goal is to work out. Now, if you guys wanna follow along on my programs, I put them back up on the website. There's a link down below. I'm selling all of my programs. If you wanna follow along with mine, or if you wanna do your own, whatever you wanna do for your workout, but I would recommend doing some kind of workout as one of your goals, you don't have to, but even if it's just walking for a half hour every day, something to get the body moving. And then finally, I know this is a silly goal, but it's to look cute and actually put on normal human clothes rather than looking homeless because I'm super comfortable in my white trash tuxedo. But even just putting on this outfit, I don't have any makeup on, but I do have to like show up for my job in some sort of way. Like if I was going in, if I was a dental assistant, I would look the part. I would sometimes want to wear flannel 
from head to toe and go into work, but I wouldn't be able to do that because there's a dress code at work. So since I work from home, it does get me in a better mindset when I'm dressed for the part. If I'm dressed ready to go, I feel ready to go. I know it sounds silly, but it makes a big difference for me anyways. I'll just end up wearing the same outfit every single day, like the same hoodie and same jeans, and there's nothing wrong with that. But doing the job that I do, I want my videos to look better, and if I look better, I'll get more traction and I'll feel better on camera. I mean, imagine having a camera this close to your face all day every day you'd want to look cute too like right now i don't have makeup on whatever i have lashes on from three days ago but i'm making a little bit of effort cute jeans cute shirt it also motivates me to work out a little bit more too because if i know i'm gonna fit into my clothes i better be going to the gym and for me it's not all about looks like i do like looking good it's in my chart it's who i am I don't have to look cute to feel good about myself, but I do prefer to look cute. And maybe that's not a priority for you, so it's not one of your goals. That is great. But it just helps me show up for my day, show up for my life in a new way, in a more put together way. So I think I've gotten all my goals in, except for my 10,000 steps and my workout. I'm gonna ease into my workout, and since it's such a beautiful day, I'm gonna do my favorite pastime, something I haven't been able to do because I've been in cold weather. Who knows what it is? Who's who knows? If you've seen my videos, you know what it is. I'm not rollerblading in an abandoned parking lot. I don't know what you're talking about. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you made it this far, write hashtag goals down in the comments. So we're getting our goals done for six weeks, starting Monday. Again, all my workout programs are for sale down below. I'm mainly just wanting to get really fit to film my summer program. I'm in okay shape right now. I just haven't been lifting a ton of weight. So I just want to get a little more toned and then we'll do a summer program. I hope you guys will all join me. It can be simple like making your bed or writing a poem or giving your wife a kiss before work or something. It just gonna be like silly. Just something to do on a daily that you know will improve your life if you do it. And we can do it together. That's the fun part is we all motivate each other to stick to our our goals and it's great and you guys motivate me so so much so hope you'll join me i'm full and i'm tired so i'm gonna put this in bed mode i'm gonna do an evening routine one of these nights but I've just been like so tired by the end of the day i just plop down thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you love to share it with your friends have a great weekend we'll see you on monday